Hey everyone, Old Head back here with another informal video. Let me know if you're into these because, you know, I'm always, I'm always down to please the audience out there. And this is going to be an interesting one because the last one I did, I voted for my choices for the 2023 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And for this one, I just saw this random image on Twitter, I believe, which had caricatures, is that right, of legendary musicians and it says you know pick four for your band here's here's the here's the thing i'm looking at and i'd like to give credit to whoever did this but the version of this i found at the very bottom i think it says by never stay dead i i'd like to give you credit is that right anyway so i saw this and um it really got like my gears turning like oh who would i pick and so i was like oh this would be perfect for an old head informal video so we're gonna do it. But the weird thing is, when I first looked at this image and it said pick four for your band, I thought that it meant, oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna start a band. So I'm gonna be doing what I normally do, which is vocals and guitar, and I'm picking my band to play with me. So I'm like, all right, well, that's cool, but then I'll I'll do it the way maybe other people would approach it, which is pick an entire band that has nothing to do with me. That's two totally different bands. So let's do both of those. All right, so first off, we're gonna be doing my band that's gonna be playing with me. So if you know anything about me and the music that I like to make, it's gonna be a little more basic, heavy alternative is the kind of stuff that I normally write and like to play. Um, I'm not the best guitar player in the world or the best singer in the world, but I get by. And so I'm not gonna to wanna to be shown up by the people that I choose. I don't wanna look like, a, like an amateur so I'm gonna to have to think about that when I put my band together. So obviously for drums, I love Neil Peart, but that's too that's too much for what I'm gonna be doing. Keith Moon, great drummer. John Bonham also John Bonham might be more down with what I'm wanting to do, because I like he hits shit hard, or did. Rest in peace. Bill Ward from Black Sabbath or Ringo Starr. Oh. Okay. Are there, what other drum are there any other drummers around here? That's it. Oh, Dave Grohl. Dave, well, Dave Grohl's also there. So, so yeah, I, I, for, for what I'm doing, I'm gonna have to go with Dave Grohl on drums because I'm definitely not gonna want him for vocals or guitar because that's what I'm doing. But Dave Grohl, to be completely honest, is the standard for when I was playing in bands, I, I always wanted to play with a drummer like Dave Grohl. I didn't need anybody flashy. I wanted somebody to hit hard and have a lot of energy and hold the beat down. And that is Dave Grohl right there. So, all right, Dave Grohl on drums. So really, let we'll go ahead and do a second guitar player and a bass player to back me up. So let's go for bass. So we have Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath, Cliff Burton from Metallica, which, but once again, Cliff, it might be too much for what I'm wanting to do. Flea, he... He's he's amazing, but that's that might that's a little too much funky for what I'm trying to do. Bootsy Collins, same thing, too much funky for what I'm trying to do. Lemmy, all right, yep. So this is gonna be yeah. So far, my band is gonna be Dave Grohl on drums and Lemmy on bass. That's that seems way more straightforward and will be perfect for backing up what I'm going to be doing. So now let's pick the second guitar player, the lead guitar player, if you will, because I'm, I'm a rhythm guitar player. I need somebody that's gonna bring the leads and the solos. All right, so we've got Slash. Slash is great, but that's, that might be a little too much. Jimmy Page, same thing. Tony Iommi, I, I, I like him a lot. Um, that, that might be a good one. Tom Morello, that might be an interesting combination with what I've got going on so far. Angus Young. Angus Young's a good one. Jimi Hendrix. Oh shit! Once again, he that, that he would just make me look like a fucking amateur. All right, so we've got uh, Johnny Cash. Get fucked. Um, Bowie for guitar. I'm not known much as a guitar player, but it has guitar listed. Prince, same thing. He's probably too good for what I'm trying to do. Kurt Cobain would fit in, but I need somebody to play some solos, and he was just kind of like making some noise type shit. And I don't, I don't know. I, I love. Nirvana and Kurt, but I don't think musically he and I would get along. I don't know. Robert Smith, nah. John Lennon, no. All right, so that, that doesn't leave me with a whole lot, but I think the one that 
really made me feel something when it came to working with what I'm working with, it's probably Tom Morello because I like the kind of solos that, that, that he does and I think that would go very well. So that would be my band. Me, old head, vocals, guitar. Drums, Dave Grohl. Bass, Lemmy, second guitar, Tom Morello. That sounds like a pretty fucking great band. I'm ready to get to work, guys. Let me know when you need me to be at the studio. All right, so now let's do a totally different one. Let's do, I'm putting together a band, maybe that like I'm gonna be their manager. I'm trying to put together this ultimate band for them to go out and conquer the world. All right, I, let, let's start, I'm gonna start off by picking a front man because I feel like we can build off of that. So we've got Ozzy. Even at his best, I, I, Ozzy isn't one of my favorites. I, I love Black Sabbath and Ozzy's stuff, but I, if I was putting together a band, I don't think I would choose Ozzy. John Lennon, why is Paul McCartney not on here? He would be a shoe-in. John Lennon, I'm not much of a Lennon fan. He did some good shit, but I'm a Paul guy. Robert Smith, no thank you. Lemmy and Kurt, nah. Prince, I, for what I'm wanting, if I'm putting together a band, Prince and Bowie, I love Bowie as well. Freddie Mercury, oh, that's... That's definitely an idea. Bruce Dickinson. I mean, that that sets us up really big right out of the gate. Fuck off Johnny Cash. I don't really think Dave Grohl is that great of a vocalist. Getty Lee is so... It's hard to pick Getty Lee for anything because I'm just like, it's just going to be Rush. If you put his voice <laughs> in something, it's Rush. Um, Stevie Nicks. I do like Stevie Nicks vocals. I may go that route just to be a little more interesting here. Robert Plant, great vocalist. Not necessarily the style that I would want to be putting putting together for a band. Hendrix, vocal-wise, not an amazing vocalist, but more of a guitar player. And last but not least, Trent Reznor. Not, not the biggest fan of his vocals, and I don't think I would want him to be fronting my band. This is way harder than I thought it was going to be. As much as I like Stevie Nicks' voice, I need my frontman to have a whole lot of energy. So it's really coming down to Bruce Dickinson or Freddie Mercury. And the band I'm going to put together is clearly going to be heavy. So maybe I just, I'm just i just going to go with Bruce Dickinson here. Because he can he has a great range, a lot of energy. So there we go. Bruce Dickinson is the lead vocalist of this band. Now let's go with a guitar player. So we've got Slash. Jimmy Page, Tony Iommi, Tom Morello, Angus Young, Jimi Hendrix, Dave Grohl, Fuck Off, Johnny Cash, Bowie, Prince, Kurt, Robert Smith, John Lennon. Okay, Th this is this is clear. So I'm gonna do two. So for the lead side of things, I'm gonna go with Jimi Hendrix. So we are going to have Bruce Dickinson vocals, Jimi Hendrix on guitar, because that dude fucking rules. But we need somebody to kind of hold it down and be more of the rhythm side of things. But it'd be nice to have a guitar player that can that can do both, and we could they could trade off on some leads. I'm leaning very heavily to Angus Young. Yeah, that's a good that's an interesting combo. Bruce Dickinson, Jimi Hendrix, Angus Young. That feels right for some reason. Let's do that. Okay. All right, bass guitar. Let's see, Geezer Butler, Cliff Burton, Flea, Bootsy, Lemmy, Getty Lee. Honestly, I think for the collection of people that I have there right now, I feel like Cliff Burton fits right in there. Jimi Hendrix, Angus Young, Cliff Burton. I'm starting to think Bruce Dickinson isn't the best choice for vocals on this one, but uh, it'll be interesting. But the real question is, who's the drummer that can handle all of this awesomeness? Neil Peart, Keith Moon, John Bonham, Bill Ward, Ringo Starr. Love you, Ringo, but no. Or Dave Grohl. So really looking at them here, there's only one that seems to just feel right, and that's John Bonham. So, yeah. I think John, John Bonham is going to bring what I need for this group of musicians. So that's the band. There, there we go. So Bruce Dickinson on vocals. I think that he could do it. I think it, he could make it fit with these guys. Jimi Hendrix, lead guitar. Angus Young, rhythm lead guitar. Cliff Burton, bass guitar. Holding down the beat, John Bonham on drums. 
that would be a fucking interesting band. All right, guys, you, you've been signed to my record label, Old Head Records. Get to work on your album. We're going to have to work on this whole being dead thing for some of you, but uh, we'll figure that out along the way somewhere, right? Anyway, all right, so that, 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 that was fun, right, folks? As usual, in the comments, do your pick, either for, if you're a musician, the band that you would want backing you, or a group of musicians that would be the band that you would put together, your dream team. So, uh, yeah. I mean, really no wrong answers here, except for Johnny Cash. Sorry, sorry, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun, right? Pick four for your band. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll be back at some point soon with another one of these informal videos. As they pop up, as I see something that interests me, I will bring it to you guys like this. But obviously I'll also be back with my normal shit. So don't fret. If you're just wanting old head content, I'm trying to bring it to you. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again very soon.